We're going to be talking about Boosteroid today as some news has just dropped and it's not looking great. So let's dive right in and get to it. Now, if you're a longtime subscriber here and haven't heard of Boosteroid before, chances are it's because it's not something I really cover on the channel. And while I have had requests to cover it and opportunities to do so, I've ultimately decided against it for one reason. And that's mainly because when something seems a little too good to be true, chances are it is, and this is no different. You see, Boosteroid is a cloud gaming service that has access to a ton of fantastic games. We're talking titles like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Sonic Frontiers, and up until recently, FIFA 23. Which, let's be honest, would be an absolutely stellar lineup of games to be added to any cloud gaming service you play on. But I've always had the nagging suspicion that these games might be getting added to Boosteroid's library without the actual publisher or developer approving them. I can't prove this, but the latest statement from Boosteroid themselves definitely makes me question it. This was the following message they had to share about games being under maintenance for several days. As you know, there's a catalog of games that you can install on your Boosteroid remote gaming desktop and play in the cloud under your game accounts. There are games millions of players love and cloud gaming helps them enjoy their favorite titles on various devices including TV. Unfortunately, some games may become unavailable for a certain period or even permanently. You might have noticed that a few games are no longer available for installation on remote gaming desktops due to technical reasons. We hope to bring them back soon, but unfortunately, today we cannot guarantee their compatibility with Boosteroid Remote Gaming Desktop. If a game you used to play is no longer available, we're deeply sorry for that and encourage you to search for hundreds of other cool titles already available in the catalog and even more new games are coming very soon. Feel free to reach out to our support team for any questions or requests. Now I don't know about you, but that definitely does not sound okay to me. I know for a fact a few people have bought FIFA 23 along with a Boosteroid subscription to play it in the cloud and that's just been taken away from them with no refund in sight. That's just not cool, and I have a feeling a lot more big games are going to be pulled from Boosteroid at some point down the road once publishers or developers start finding out their games are being hosted there. While you could make the argument that a license for these games have been acquired through Steam, Epic, or any other PC launch it doesn't change the fact that the publishers ultimately have the final say on whether a game is supported or not. A similar exodus of games happened with GeForce Now early on in its life when a bunch of publishers decided to pull support from the service. And ever since then, Nvidia's made it very clear that they're working together with publishers and developers to onboard titles onto the service. And even then, for as big a company as Nvidia is and their role in the video game industry, you'd think that most publishers would be on board in an instant, but they're not. For some, it took much longer than others, and some still have yet to bring any games on board. And if such a massive company like Nvidia has to go through all these steps, what are the chances that Boosteroid can? And while I need to make it clear that this is obviously my own assumption, I need to point out that their statement about the game being under maintenance is just not okay either. Speaking as a consumer, I know I would be pretty upset if I already prepaid for a month or a year of subscription time and then bought a game for $80 only to have it taken away. And to have the service respond with a sorry, why not check out the other hundreds of games we have on our catalog, it just wouldn't instill confidence in me. As somebody who's been covering cloud gaming for quite some time, my advice to you is to stick to the big four. Amazon Luna, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Nvidia GeForce Now, and PlayStation Plus Premium. At the very least, there are massive corporations attached to them, you know what you're signing up for with most of them, and ultimately speaking, if something were to go wrong, chances are these corporations would at least try to make it up to you because they have some face to save. Looking at you, Google Stadia. Now before we wrap up this video, I do want to ask you all, have you tried Boosteroid, and if so, what game did you play on there? I'd love to hear your thoughts on the service as well as their most recent statement, so leave them down below. Now if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching the video, I hope you have a great day, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.